took me forever to figure this out, but the air light here does not flicker. I mean, barely. Um, Spare than it flickers. So, however, if I change the light samples to two. Let's run for that one more time. We'll see tons of flicker. So, thing though is that this only happens for the area light uh, going crazy like that. So, um, also, it's even worse if I have a really high contrast, something like this. If I do this. Then render it again. That's not very cool. So, um, what to do? Now, I've seen it much worse than this, so, but anyway, um, I don't have those renders anymore, so, but yeah, what you should do then is fix the light samples, so, a bit hard to say though, or, just how much really, um, I think it's an idea to, to push down the, the samples then, then crank up um, crank up these guys instead. That should also you should also crank up the shading samples in that case since I lowered the anti-aliasing. Anyway. <coughs> so Surrender that one more time. Yeah, a touch of flicker there. not too bad so yeah getting closer would shading samples help uh, But since we lowered the anti-aliasing, shading samples should also be cranked up. This said, you can. This only goes for uh, the area light. This. I wouldn't call it a bug, because the area light behaves in a different way. And the other lights, but it is absolutely something to be aware of. Um, yeah, so I'm 
yeah you probably want to do something like this instead the problem of course is that it uh, adds render time option number two is just leave these as they were and use another light so instead of an air light we'll use um, for example the spotlight spherical light um, or the floodlight floodlight is kind of funky because it disappears when I if it's if uh, I don't have lights selected so I don't know what's up with that anyway um, so you can see that's pretty much very similar to a spotlight so rendering that <coughs> render that one more time to see how much flicker we got with anti-aliasing 4 samples of 4 so yeah there's a touch of a flicker but not a lot almost nothing let's see I just want to see really how this uh, the spotlight will differ uh, 6.1 seconds render time wow Kind of like the same um, flicker going on there. So um, but yeah, I mean. Uh, the air light yeah so basically remove that flicker but yeah the air light is really not that cool when it comes to flickering at least when you have uh, cached GI on or GI on I don't know what's cause if if I don't know if GI contributes to the flicker or cached GI contributes I don't know but anyways, um, I need the, the cached uh, GI anyway, so uh, there's no way at this moment to get away from that. But okay, um, Spotlight rendered really fast though. Let's do a full render of the spotlight.
This is kind of like an extreme case. Um, Okay, I'm just going to turn off uh, reflection here. <clears throat> you should also remember that with a spotlight you can also use a mask, which can be cool. So you, this area has a roundness to it, but that could be fixed. Um, using a shape. Anyway, looks funky now since I turned off the reflection, but it renders faster. And there's no flicker. No flicker in the shadows. That's good. Okay, so either use a spotlight or or use um, an area light, but remember to crank up the light samples for the area light. If you don't do that, then you're kind of like screwed the area light will flicker uh, for fiber effects. If this only is the case because I'm using GI or cache GI, I don't know. But I kind of doubt it. I, I think that the area light will behave in a funky way with too few light samples. But anyway, you can change the light for a spotlight or some other type of light. The reason why I'm fo focusing so much on, a, on the spotlight and the air light is because it has a direction. I really don't want uh, to have um, I really don't want to have a light that will um, that will point point uh, towards the ceiling. Uh, I mean that that's just no. And a spotlight or a, a sorry a, a spherical light or a point light would do that. I don't want that at all. So. That's why I'm avoiding those. But okay, uh, don't mind the rendering down here. I turned off the reflection, that's why it looks funky. So this is what it will look like finished. Um, all right, so hack number 538.